What is up, YouTube? This is CFAC. I want to talk to you about disassembling this LG G2 today. We're going to remove everything. It's going to be a complete teardown, so the mid phone and the LCD can be replaced. There's not a ton of these videos out there on YouTube, so I wanted to kind of bring this to you and show you how to completely disassemble this phone. The tools we're going to use is a screwdriver with a small Phillips bit, a dental pick to help pry up cables and connectors and some glued down internals of the phone, a iSesimo tool. Once we use a heat gun to heat the LCD up, we use this to pry the LCD screen off. A few spudgers to help remove uh, some more additional items on the inside. Definitely a wide spudger is needed for this phone as the battery is glued down. You want something to give a lot of force. A couple of opening tools to make sure you don't damage your phone as you remove the back portion and to kind of help you take the LCD screen off. A pair of tweezers to get at some of the smaller internal bits that are hard to remove. Let's go ahead and get started with this phone. First thing we're going to do is take a look at the screen here and you can see it's definitely shattered. And the bezel right here has a few dents in it, which is why we're going to change the bezel on this phone as well. You can see that it's in, other than that, it's in pretty good shape, just the front screen. It does have a screen protector on it, so I'll not be actually um, taping the screen down once I start removing the LCD. We're going to start on the right-hand side of the phone, kind of where the SIM slot is, and move our pry tool all the way around. You do need to use a decent amount of force, this phone, to get the LCD screen off. And also make sure that you have priorly removed your SIM slot with the SIM eject tool. Go ahead and start the removal process of the back. You do need to slide it in and then slide the tool in pretty deep in to dislodge the connectors. It's kind of like a snap-on back. You do need to push it far enough to get the back to snap off. All right, we have the back removed. You can see the internal portion of the phone here, the big silver thing in the middle of the battery. You can see the buttons on the back of the phone and the two gold strips that run down. Uh, the, that's the kind of the power button that connects it to the daughter board at the bottom. We're going to remove these screws that ring the outside of the phone. Uh, these are all silver head screwdriver screws. And there is one black screw right here in the middle. And we do need to remove that to take off the black housing. I'm going to start on the uh, kind of mid portion of the right side and move my way around. Take each screw out. I also missed this screw here, which holds the main uh, body together. We're going to go ahead and remove that one as well. Same Phillips silver screw. Screw to go. All right, we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry this main housing off. And it does snap on, so there are a few connectors. You do have to use a decent amount of force to get the uh, top to pop off. Now, I did forget to take out the black screw that's right next to the down volume button, and I'll catch that here in just a second. Right here. Make sure you remove that, or you cannot get the black housing off the back of the phone. Be prying at it for a long time. It is stuck down uh, pretty good, so uh, you'll see me pry at it here for a second and use my pry tool to go along. As long as you use something that's a, 
a little bit uh, more softer plastic. You won't damage your phone at all. But as always, you don't want to put excessive amounts of force on this. See, it'll, it'll bend a pretty decent amount. It just doesn't want to pop off. So if you hold the portion of the phone out a little bit, and then slide your pry tool in to give it just a tiny bit more pressure towards the top, the back housing will go ahead and snap off. Now you can see all the internal components here. There are a lot of connectors on this phone. We'll remove the bottom portion of the black housing. This one's a lot easier to get off. Sometimes it does snag a little bit towards the bottom. You just want to slide your pry tool in just like the top. You can see that uh, this is a little more complex than a lot of the other phones out there. Um, you can see that there's a lot of connectors all throughout the phone. There's the battery connector, uh, that's an LCD connector, a camera connector, uh, one of the power connectors from the power button, front camera connector, and a couple other connectors on here as well. All of these need to be removed, and as well as these two wires here to get the main board and the daughter board to come out. So we're going to go ahead and pry those up. And just take a, a decent amount of force, but make sure that you are very careful. We don't want to damage any of these. Prep the camera. This is separate than the main board. It is glued to the board underneath. Pry up this LCD connector here. There's some gold tape that we'll be reusing in our reassembly. So make sure you don't rip it one of our power connectors here's our front camera connector go ahead and undo that and I want to make sure that I pull these up a little bit so it's easy to take the board out since there are so many a lot of them will get in the way so you want to take a second to make sure that they're all kind of pointing up nothing's still stuck down now this interior board here is glued down so you want to be gentle and pry it up if you slide your tool in right underneath the, the white kind of where the power button it is that's where the adhesive is and you can slide it up just a little bit make sure you undo the tape on the sides here because this is all one piece undo the gold tape on this side and it should come free pretty decent for us here now these cables that run down the side of the battery are glued down a little bit so you want to slide your tool underneath them just to pry them up slightly and on this side there is a board here that we'll need to pry up this here is connected to this cable that runs down the side of the battery so we're going to give it a little bit of force underneath it uh, it is glued down with a, just a little 3M tape so just slide your tool in and gently pry it up Alright, now we have this power assembly coming free. We're going to go ahead and undo the two wires at the top, the black and the white wire. The black one's free, we'll just pry the white one up. Be gentle with these, they can be damaged fairly easy. Now that we've done that, this main board should come out for us after we remove the battery connector. All right. A lot of times the camera cable will get stuck to the main board here. So make sure you pry it up and make sure it's free. And the LCD, there we go. And it'll pop right out the main board for you. All right, the next thing we're going to work on is just the bottom assembly here. Move this forward. And there is an LCD connector. This, this LCD has uh, two or three connectors onto the board here as well as one at the bottom. We'll remove the black and the white cable connecting down here to the daughter board as well. There's some black tape holding the two wires down. Uh, make sure you remove that before you start pulling them out. Now you don't have to be too careful. I don't use this in my reassembly. It doesn't seem like it's tacky enough. I end up using just a little bit of scotch tape to reassemble the phone. Alright, there's the black wire out. We'll undo the white connector here. And there is the white wire. All right, now this bottom piece is one large assembly with the power button. And there's a connector down here at the bottom. 
Now we need to make sure we disconnect. Right here, we need to pry this one up. Now this bottom board is a little tricky. It's uh, it is glued down with some adhesive. And if you put your pry tool in right where I'm currently at and to the side over here is usually the best way to start prying up from this side first. And you'll see it start to flex just a little bit. Now if you're really gentle, give it a, a small amount of force, it will start to pop free for you. There's a really good place underneath the three and a half milliliter jack you can give it a little extra pressure on this far side here and that'll free the board for you now right at the bottom of the battery this cable almost snaps in to a degree so you want to make sure that you pry those forward just a little bit to get the board to come loose now there is a mic down here that we need to have come free it is attached to the board so before you start prying the board all the way out make sure that you loosen this and pry this out. We do not want to rip this cable here as that would be detrimental to our reassembly. I'm going to take my tweezers and pry on it just a little bit to get the glue to come free. It is a longer assembly stretching to uh, the, the full kind of half portion of the bottom of the phone that we're working with. I'm just going to put my dental pick in there and pry it up here on the side. Little extra glue still holding it in, so we're just going to kind of cut that off. And there we have the power assembly is out, and there's that microphone. All right, there is a board down here at the bottom as well that's held in um, with a screw. I'm just going to remove this tape here just real fast, get rid of this, and get this out of the way. Do the battery next. Make sure you use a nice flat spudger. Uh, I like this one has a little bit of a curve on it. Uh, this battery can be difficult. Uh, it will flex a little when you take it out and it will bend. It's a polymer battery, so it'll be too upset. Um, but you do not want to pierce it and you don't want to put a ton of force in it. I just put my spudger in and wiggle it back and forth a little bit to free this side of the battery. And then you can slide your tool underneath it and give it a nice medium force to pull it forward and slide it across to cut any additional glue that's underneath there. And then we can pull the battery free. Perfect. The battery is out. Alright, now here is the screw that I was just talking about down here at the bottom. It's a different filled screw than the rest of the phone, so make sure you don't mix it in with your regular silver screws that you've taken out from the rest of the body of the phone. Now this bottom board down here is kind of uh, attached in. If you kind of pull from the side a little bit uh, and then pry it from one side, it's almost like it slides into this slot. Um, if you put your pry tool under it, give it just a nice gentle pressure, it will come out for you. There we go. We have a few components up here, the camera, the front camera, and I think that's the vibrator, that round thing there. I'm not positive though. We'll remove the camera first. Now this does seem a little hard to get out of the the board to the right of the camera is glued in but if you get a nice uh, sharp tool you can pry it out uh, just underneath the ribbon cable just make sure you don't pierce the ribbon cable connector here give it a little bit of a tug here and it'll slide out for us there we go we have a few other connectors up here we have the main speaker and the board that attaches to it. I think I'll take out uh, the front camera assembly uh, first. And the front camera is held in just a little bit of gold tape um, onto the device next to it. We want to reuse the tape, so make sure you don't rip it. Just gently pry it out, and the tape will slide off for you. You can see the tape there on the right. 
I'll take this out. Now this does have a little rubber gasket underneath it as well. So make sure you, when you pull this out that the rubber gasket comes with it. And it is glued down so it's a little sticky and tacky. And we'll pull out our earpiece speaker. Fly that out. Now the board next to it is glued down with a mild adhesive as well. So if you kind of pull up on the headphone speaker here and pull, or the earpiece speaker, and put your pry tool underneath the little daughter board here to this, it'll pop right out for you. All right, we're getting very close. Next is this, and it's really stuck down in this phone. Uh, I like to use a little bit of, of heat to soften the glue underneath it so I don't damage it. Not a ton like you'd be removing an LCD screen, but enough to soften the glue. So I will put my heat gun onto it for just a few seconds to loosen it up and then it'll pop right out for us. It's hard to get underneath this since it is so well glued down. If you just pry it a couple times you'll get a, a nice opening that you can put your tool into. Alright, we're looking pretty good. There's just one or two last things to pull out here. There's a, a white gasket up here at the top next to the LCD ribbon that needs to come out. And we're going to loosen this LCD cable at the bottom as we start removing the LCD off the front of the phone. We want to make sure that it's free to slide out, so make sure that this cable is no longer glued down. And this gasket likes to fly out, so be careful. Alright, now we can start on the removal of our LCD screen. Now we will be using the heat gun to remove this LCD. And I also want to reuse the LCD here, so we're going to use a infrared thermometer to make sure we don't heat it up too much. Um, even though the digitizer is shattered, the LCD is still uh, in functioning order, so I want to see if I can UV glue it back together, maybe use on a different repair. So we're going to give it a decent amount of heat, so we're going to go around here uh, a few times with the heat gun, and then we'll measure with our thermometer here. We don't want to reach over maybe 180 degrees if you still want to reuse the LCD. We'll make sure we monitor the size of the phone to make sure we don't go above that. All right, now we're going to get our opening tool, something that's very thin, like this ISSMO tool. And now the bezel and the screen has a very, very thin um, portion to it. You don't want to stick your tool too far in to damage the LCD. So we're just going to put just the tip in and slide it uh, side to side on the phone to loosen the glue up first. And then after we make it a decent size uh, or amount around the phone, then we can go ahead and open it. Now the, the body of the phone will be fairly hot. If you put your finger in the center of the display, it is easier to give it a little bit of holding pressure. Now the top up here, it does widen out so we can put more of the tool in to help give us uh, additional force to pry. You do want to be careful this LCD cable though that comes through. We're going to reuse this. We definitely don't want to damage that cable. Alright, making it all the way around. Same thing at the bottom. Um, the cable that, that, that connects to the bottom is a little bit further down, or sorry, up into the LCD. So you can put a little bit extra part, uh, extra amount of your your tool in to pry this phone screen. Now, same thing on this side. We don't want to put too much of it in. We're just going to slide it across to make sure we get rid of the glue on the side here. And as we get to the bottom of the phone where there's a lot more of the, the black bezel here, 
we can insert the tool a little bit further to get a little additional force. Now since we've got a lot of the phone open, we can start to pry the tool in a little bit deeper. We want to try to get underneath the LCD and the light box on the back of the LCD to pry around it. Now you can see that we've got a decent amount of our tool in there and we're making good headway on the glue of this LCD. Now if I didn't have the screen protector on this phone already holding it down, I would definitely put some uh, scotch tape on it, um, some packing tape or something. I'm going to pry this screen open and put my additional tool in. I put the, tacking, the packing tape on so the glass isn't shattering all over. You can keep it in one spot. It's easier to not cut yourself if it's uh, not flying all over your workstation. All right, I'm just going to try to loosen this side. It seems to be still stuck a little bit on this side. There we go. It looks like I unfortunately caught a little bit of the light box on my way around. Not a too big of a deal. We can read here to the LCD screen, just as long as it's not damaged. The goal is to try to get it underneath, just like that, when you put your tool in all the way around. This is a pretty thin phone at this point, so it's a little ho hard to hold on to. Alright, here we go. We'll go ahead and pull this apart. We're going to push this top ribbon cable through, and there's a ribbon cable at the bottom here as well. And it helps if you push the connector through, as the slots to get it through in this phone are pretty slim, and it usually will get stuck. So we'll slide this one through, and then we can separate the LCD from the mid body of the phone. There we go. Just like that, the LCD is off. We're going to go ahead and clean up the mid body of this phone and just get the rest of the glass off. You want to make sure you're, if you're going to reuse the mid body of your phone that you uh, clean up all the glass and all the glue around the side so it has a nice flat surface. If you have to use a little additional heat here to get the uh, glass and glue off, feel free to do so. Just don't heat it up too much to melt your frames. Most of them are plastic in the interior. Alright, there we go. This phone is completely disassembled. If you guys do have questions, feel free to post them in the comments. The reassembly video is right down here at the bottom. Go ahead and click the link and you can watch me fully reassemble this LG G2. If you like my videos, I plan on doing it a lot more. I have an LG L9 coming up, a Galaxy S3, a couple iPod Touches, and iPhone 4 are all in the books for my reassembly. So go ahead and subscribe if you have any of those devices you need fixed. And I hope to see you uh, in just a few bit, in a few minutes, on my reassembly video. Thank you.